I now turned into Angela, but I call her Ye. Way up. Everybody, it is a Tuesday, right? It feels like a Wednesday for some reason. But I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes, it does feel like a Wednesday, right? I know. I kept thinking it was. And shout out to Mayna, who is running on low late. way, running late. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, what? the heck is we've been taking the train. And I love it. Yes. If been, May, Mayno doesn't take the train. No, he will not. <laughs> He's also coming from Jersey, so it's yeah. different. We're coming from Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. But when I tell you, it is a game changer. Listen, and I, I love that I know how to ride I told you how to now. take the you subway. Talk, yeah, Anybody comes to, to New York, people yeah. think it's so complicated. Stop that you just need to know how to take one train, and you're good, because everything connects somewhere. Yep. But anyway, we have Chef JJ joining us today, getting ready for the New York City Wine and Food Festival. Mm-hmm. Um, he does this event called The Cookout. Now, I did it with him in Miami I for that. You in Miami. For that food festival. We have it here in New York, October 20th. It's going to be in Brooklyn for the first time. Mm-hmm. And I'm actually helping a lot more this year, so I'm excited Ooh, for that. Okay. But let's start the show off with some love and some positivity. Let's shine a light. 800 292 5150 is the number. Call us up. Let us know who you want to shine a light on. Let's spread the love, baby. It's way up. I'm going to shine. I'm going to shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here and Jasmine Brand is here. Good morning. And you know what time it is. It is time to shine a light. And mm-hmm. today I want to shine a light on Farrah Lewis. She okay. is a council member in New York, in the district where I grew up, actually, in Flatbush. Oh, okay. Yesterday she had a birthday event, kickoff fundraising event for her campaign. Mm-hmm. And I just want to commend her for all the amazing work that she's been doing. Uh, she was really outspoken when everything happened with uh, Donald Trump saying things about Haitians eating cats because oh. she's. Oh, okay, okay. And so just think about the people who that affects. Yeah. But honestly, like a lot of people tell me all the time, if you want to know about X, Y, and Z that's happening, talk to Farrah Lewis. She's the one that's really been doing the work. She's been mm. active. There were things I didn't even know that was happening mm-hmm. that they were like, Farrah Lewis is wor- working with Pastor A.R. Bernard. You need to talk to her about that. You need to bring her on the show so she can discuss those yeah. things. And that's without her even saying anything to me. That's other people telling me. Well, that says a lot. Talk to Farrah Lewis because she's really on the ground. I see her all the time doing work. So shout out to you, Farrah Lewis, and happy birthday. Now, who do you guys want to spread some love to and shine a light on? C1, what's good? Who do you want to shine a light on? Uh, I want to shine a light on my wife, the Keith. I've been with her since 1997. Ooh, wow. We moved okay. down to VA in 2000 and had our first daughter. And we broke up in 2001 or two. Mm-hmm. But I actually spun the block in 2020. <laughs> Oh. You know what I mean? After 18 years, and we got back together, and we wow. kindled. But right. I just want to shout a light on her, because she's a really strong woman, a strong individual. Mm-hmm. She's a sickle cell warrior. She helped okay. me be a better man. So to my wife, Dakeith, I really love you, baby. I appreciate wow. everything you've always done for me. Wow. An awesome black queen. And that's I a great story. Life, it's a, yeah, because yeah, spending the, the block doesn't... Like after 18 yeah, years. Yeah, it doesn't always work, but it worked out for them. Okay, Nelly and Ashanti, we see you. Mm-hmm. God is good. Even down here, I listen to y'all every morning. Like, Thank you. I listen to y'all every morning on the AHA app because we don't have that station back down here. So after the Breakfast Club, I listen to you, you. I love you guys. Thank Shout you. Shout out to Big Nino. <laughs> One of the highlights of y'all show is when you called this boy Shane Shake with them. That is my favorite show. <laughs> So once again, I love you ladies. I appreciate you even getting through and keep up the great work. Well, y'all. thank you. Thank he's you. amazing. Uh-huh. You know why? Because he's happy. He's happy. Yep. He's settled. <laughs> Everything works out. See what I'm to do for you. See what yes, I, uh, mm-hmm. Life be life and in a good way sometimes. All right. Well, thank life you for calling. Life is life, Angie. You ain't lying. I appreciate you. Have a good one. Let me tune back into the show. All right. Take Bye. care. Bye. <laughs> All right, well, that was Shine a Light. And when we come back, we have your Yeezy. And let's talk about this Quavo news. Mm. It's really confusing because people are trying to say he has a baby. They're saying he's dating somebody different. Mm. I don't know what's going on, but we'll try to decipher all of this. Um, And we'll talk about DDG and his breakup. He said that he's going to be single unless he gets back with his baby mama. You know who that is. Mm -hmm. Halle Bailey. All right, it's way up. They say it's truth in the room. Ah! From industry shade to all the gossip. Angela's spilling that yee tea. It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any brand. I'm my own brand. 
And I do want to also send our prayers out to everybody in Florida right now who yes. is bracing for Hurricane Milton. They're uh, asking for calls for a new Category 6 designation oh, gosh. for this storm. They're saying it's a historic superstorm. And so just keeping everybody in our prayers right now. It's scary. All right. Well, let's get into some Yeetie. Are you ready for some breaking news? Breaking news. All right, Rihanna, her highly anticipated Diesel collab is finally here. Okay. And by the way, in about 30 minutes, like 32 minutes, <laughs> it's going to be dropping on SavageX.com. So I'm looking at some of these items that are going to be available for Diesel. Mm, kick our Ange, we should get some stuff. You know what? People were just talking about diesel denim and how like they have amazing denim. But I feel like for a little while, people weren't, weren't as into diesel. Because remember when Jay-Z said, these ain't diesel, these are Vizu? <laughs> yeah. And it really made people stop buying diesel? Yeah. Uh, Jay-Z well, makes me sad to drive an X5, too. Because, you know, Jay-Z says baby things. baby mama's that, cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I am a baby mama. got rid of auto-tune. <laughs> yeah. People stopped drinking Cristal. All yeah. right. Well, Savage Fenty Diesel is about to drop. So, again, that's SavageX.com. Okay. Oh, I see some briefs for the guys in here that could be cute they, look, those models are really shined up look at his shiny abs. and his mesh stockings I'm looking and at we should get this. something we should get something a little lightweight you know what i'm saying nothing too crazy what about this metallic effect bustier yes all right now ddg is saying that he is done with dating mm. unless he gets back together with his ex they really just broke up or maybe they just told us that they broke up but he's been uh firing back at everybody by the way on social media who he's have active. things to say mm -hmm. i saw him he go he went at joe button mm -hmm. really Really hard. Yeah. And here's what he had to say on his live stream about dating. I don't have a potential girlfriend, nor do I even think about that. I don't plan on getting into another relationship at all, unless it's Hallie. I don't want multiple baby mamas. I don't want none of that. We taking a break, like I said. Mm. Now, taking a break like I said. People on social media, and I saw this on It's Only Entertainment, they're speculating that the breakup was over Brent Fias. Come on, Brent. I don't believe it. Go ahead. You don't? They no. said Chloe and Haley were having a girls' night out in Paris, and social media spies noticed that she was being friendly with Brent in the videos that are now deleted. And then he posted, what happens in the dark will eventually come to the light. <sighs> I know guys like this. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, calm it down. Relax. Like, nothing going on. Yeah, but I mean, and he did say that behind the scenes, this has already been something that's established. Yeah. So she probably was like, look, I just had a baby. I don't have time to deal yeah, with I'm this. Like, that's how but we don't know what really happened. But I, like, I like to speculate, though. Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. um, and Quavo, speaking of babies, people were trying to say that he has a baby because he posted himself boarding a jet and you could hear this baby crying in the background. Here's what it sounded like. <laughs> That, you really got to listen closely. <laughs> yeah. wah, wah, wah. Uh, but they're saying that, yes, he, that's his baby. And then he, he deleted it, by the way. That could be his nephew or his niece or something. Why he deleted it, though? Yeah. No, that, I'm playing. No, All but right. really, why did you delete it, though? All right. Well, anyway, that is your YT. Lots of speculation today. Mm -hmm. uh, when we come back, we have about last night. That's where we discuss what we did last night. We were outside. We did a lot. Yeah, we did. We went to Chef JJ's restaurant. So we went out to Farrah Lewis's birthday mm -hmm. kickoff launch fundraising event. We'll talk about it. But right now, this all that the single ladies put your hands up. So about last night, here's how it went down. Last night. Last night. It's way up. I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. And, hold, hold, and like yeah. the, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. Let's get to it. Like the Tasmanian I, Devil. I know right. you just didn't play New Mano drop when, right. when she said Jasmine Brand. Maybe. No, no but I'm here's not the thing. Brand. I'm my own brand. Thank you. Let's move on, Angela. All right, let's wow. move on. New wow. Mano and Jasmine Brand. Yeah. Now, last night we had a very active day. Yes. We went to Field Trip Chef JJ's restaurant in 30 Rock. That's so Rockefeller good. Center. Yes. Yes. And so we got to make our, I made my own rice bowl. Mm -hmm. You got to walk over there because it's a few the blocks. The fact that I wasn't invited is even more If you come uh, to work. Yeah. Sinister. Come to work. That was you crazy. You were busy doing photo shoots and freestyles. So famous. <laughs> 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 on the radar. I don't know what oh you... Oh, my God. Um, but anyway, after that, we went to an event, a fundraiser for mm -hmm. Farrah Lewis, who's a council member in uh, Brooklyn. Yes. Uh, so we did that. But the other thing that happened yesterday was I tore my house apart <laughs> looking for my wallet. I lost my whole entire wallet. You told I was me like, Mano, you, you called me. me. Well, yeah. I was looking, he was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm in the car yeah, looking for my wallet. I was under the seat. Right 
It's I a was, terrible feeling. It's an awful so feeling. When I tell you, feeling. I tore everything up. You I went it? online. I froze my credit cards. I froze my debit cards. I had no idea. I got to travel today. I got my passport. Guess where it was? Where? Jasmine's purse. I stole her wallet and so, didn't even know it. She walked in today and I said, you. holding my wallet. <laughs> Listen, because I, I went. My you probably pa- passed it to her. That's what I think she did. First of all, we were 99. a little. Yeah, I was a little lit. Like we was had lit. one edible each. You, oh, so you, that's when she starts the, her thing. We had one stealing. edible. Start stealing with a yeah. she started, and she uh, gets sticky. Fin- and then I think see? she got nervous because right. I froze the car. She's like, I can't even do anything. Right, <laughs> right. No, my little scammy listen, friend. Listen, I, what I think happens Jasmine is, scam. I think that Angela said, hey, I don't want to bring my, my wallet. Put this in your bag. Why this would really you big- make that up? I didn't say that. Because yeah. th- you do that sometimes. You say, hey, and then I put it in my stuff. The it's, fact that y'all both me. was lit and y'all don't even know what happened, y'all blacked out. I it's went to crazy. the supermarket. I said, Jasmine, I'm going to just bring cash. I'm not even bringing my card. You did not bring cash I to the supermarket. I did bring cash. I paid Why cash. Why would you do that? Because I had it. Uh, I wasn't buying much. I was only okay. buying a couple of things. This All right. Crazy. Now, the other thing that happened, mm-hmm. um, Jasmine received a butt doll. I did. Mm. And the person left a message. Now, you know when you get a voicemail that's like three minutes long and you like, okay, hold up. We about to get some information. <laughs> about to get some tea. Today. Yes. So what happened, Jasmine? So I, I listened to the voice. It was... I, it was really low, so I, I could hear him. I could hear the, the man, and I could hear a woman, but I couldn't really understand what mm-hmm. they were saying. Were they moaning? Uh, no, they were not okay. moaning. Whew. Oh, I've done that before. I know you have. Yeah. You've moaned. I, 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 you have <laughs> moaned. I almost sent Angela. <laughs> I on the toilet. <laughs> Angela, I almost sent you the audio so that you could try to decipher what it is. <laughs> so you know we would have brought it right in here, elevated the... Um, yeah, that's what the... the and the, person, the, the guy was like, take it to the station and have them so pull it out. So what was he saying? He was talking about work stuff. It was... It was wham. It was, wasn't about nothing. But yeah. you listened to I all listened. three minutes. I did. I'm going to let you hear some of my butt down. Uh-uh, I don't okay. want to. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Literally. <laughs> Darling with his booty. <laughs> um, oh, we, my gosh. We want to hear from you guys. Have you ever gotten a butt dial from somebody and found something out? Because it happened to me. Mm. My ex-boyfriend called me, and I heard him with another woman, <gasps> right, talking. And then I called him. He didn't answer. I'll mm. tell you all about it when we come back. But we want to hear your stories also. 800-292-5150. We want to hear about your butt dials. Ooh, I know y'all done gotten some trouble. 800-292-5150. Be up with Angela Yee. Let's go. Yeah. You are a media maven, right? Ooh, you never know what Angela's going to say. Yes, way up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Mano's here. No, Mano. Right. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just any friend. <laughs> I'm uh, we're talking about Ooh. butt dialing. Jasmine, you got a butt dial. I did have a butt dial, and I uh, was very excited to listen, and um, I did. When you see that three-minute voicemail, you're like, Ooh, somebody made a mistake today. My heart started beating fast. I was like, oh, my and God. And then you hear a woman talking in the oh, background. Oh, my goodness. But it turned out to be nothing. Yeah, it was, it was so, so he says. Now, Mano, has anyone ever butt dialed you? Yeah. And, Absolutely, and and I heard some things. What'd you? Hear? I wasn't listening. Like I said, oh okay, nice. See, we'll listen for yeah. an but, hour. See, but my 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 stuff is probably worse. Yeah, yeah. You, I your send, butt I send, are terrible. Pause. I sent out um, wrong text. Mm. Um, I called by mistake. Oh no! What is wrong? You're very careless. <laughs> listen, you're very careless. You got to tighten up. When I when I when I find somebody that. To love me. <laughs> Who you are. Sorry, it wasn't for back. you. <laughs> well, my ex um, actually butt dialed me by accident, and I heard him talking to a woman. Um, so I hung up and called him back, and he answered. Okay. And I said, where are you? And he was like, oh, I'm at such and such's house, a guy. Mm-hmm. And I said, let me talk to him. Oh. And he was like, uh, he went to the store. Uh, you know what? And I was like, well, you just that called me, and I heard you corny. talking to a woman. <laughs> And he was like, there's nobody. Here. Oh, that's his sister. So okay. y'all was together when this happened? Yeah, we were together. I was, boyfriend. I was oh, so in the you, car you listening. Caught and I, him. Yeah. Man. Red-handed. We weren't together long wow. after that. Uh, but we want to hear your <laughs> butt doll stories. Vanessa, tell us your butt doll story. My kid's daddy, I was with him for 15 years. I'm sitting at the house. He called me butt doll for Ooh. 45 minutes. I listened to the conversation. He telling them that he was in the army, this, that, and another. They going to the movies. They Ooh. He going to say that she was smelling like weed. He was smelling like weed. She, got she took notes. Said, she did. She oh, no. Wait a minute. I said, oh. So... I hung up after 45 minutes, after called back. Minutes. And he back. answered the phone. Mm-hmm. Hey, baby, oh. how you doing? I said, what movie are you going to? He oh. said, uh-uh. I said, I sit on the phone for 45 minutes oh, and listen man. to your conversation. I Ooh. said, me and your son on your way to the movie, too. 
Oh, oh. wow. What did he say? What we seeing? But I was so glad I got in on this topic. It was so funny. Yeah, but thou me listen to it for 45 wow. minutes. That's good. Listen, I'm going to use you for yeah, a stakeout. You, yeah, you are really, yeah, yeah. You really <laughs> the real MVP. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, thank oh, you. yeah, for real. Thank you, Vanessa. Oh, I, I, I'm glad we're not the only it. crazy ones, Jasmine. <laughs> thank you, Vanessa. Hey, Sony. Angela Yee. What up? Has anybody ever butt dialed you? So, I've been butt dialed before, but this story is um, about me butt dialing my father. I was in the car, and I was his boyfriend at this time, and my dad heard it all. He heard me tell him, I think you were attractive. I wouldn't be sucking your, oh. you know what? Oh. And if I didn't think it was really embarrassing, my dad called me back and replayed it for me. <gasps> dad. Uh, and it was, oh, yeah, dad, listen to I don't that. like that. Dad. You're like, Dad, you know that wasn't no, for you. Yeah. Stop yeah. it. it. <laughs> yeah, it was very embarrassing. All right, well, thank you for calling. I'm sorry, Sony, to hear that. That is awful. That's embarrassing. That was an embarrassing no problem. Thank you. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Y'all have a good day. All right, you too. Hey, Drew. Hey. What's your butt dial story? So my girl, she went out of town for business, and <laughs> so we having our little conversation. She told me she was going to sleep and everything, Uh-oh. and ten minutes later, I hear a knock on the door. <sighs> Two minutes later. Oh no! Mm, mm, he was mm. giving it to her. How long did you listen to her having sex she with somebody else? Uh, once nervous. I heard the moaning, I, I already knew what time it was, Damn. so I hung up. So how did, did you confront her about it? Uh yeah, it was like Ronald Asley. Uh, I ain't even let her come upstairs and pack her stuff. I packed it for her. When mm, she got back, right. it was over. To the left, to the that's left. Right. Did she used to scream like that with you? Uh it was way more with, intense with us, but it was just <laughs> like you know, I was like, you bull. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for calling and sharing some horrible moments well, that's with us. Heartbreaking, yo. Yeah, yeah that's Trump. Man. All right, yeah, have a good one. You too. All right. Imagine hearing the one you love just moaning for somebody else. Eek. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys for calling. And Jasmine, glad that your uh, I'm not alone. Down situation yeah. wasn't too bad. Yeah, mine wasn't. Oh my god, I'd have been <sighs> done. I would. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. I would have got that call. <laughs> all right. When we come back, let's talk about Diddy and all of these uh, new allegations. What people are saying. I'm hearing about three mm. different potential sex tapes. All right. It's way up. Yo, she about to blow the lid up off this pot. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Angela's spilling that yee tea. Come and get the tea. A lot to unpack here. It's way up. I'm here. Mano's here. Yeah. You Mano. Jasmine Brand is here. Not just any brand. I'm my own brand. All right. Well, let's start off with some Diddy news. Okay. Um, Diddy is about to have the key to Miami Beach rescinded in the wake of all of these things. You know, they already returned the key to the city for New York okay. after Mayor Eric Adams requested it back. So now that's the next thing. I'm sure he don't care about no key to no city right now. We don't care either, I don't think. All right, well, here's something you may care about. Now, Mm -hmm. according to the New York Post, Mm -hmm. there's uh, allegedly a Diddy tape that shows him having sex with a younger male A-list celebrity. Now, this alleged sex tape features him, and it's being shopped around to media outlets. According to the New York Post, Mm -hmm. this horrified A-list star is bracing himself for the video footage to be published, (laughs) and it's triggering an individual who is a member of the celebrities in a circle told the New York Post it feels like a betrayal and a violation. Mm. And it's causing a lot of issue. It brings up some really disturbing and bad memories. Mm. Uh. And says both of their faces are clearly visible in the footage, according to the New York Post. That's what they said. And they so did they not release the identity, really? I guess, yeah, of the A-list star yet. Um, but it's a total nightmare. And insider told the New York Post, he feels like he was victimized years ago and is now being victimized yet again. If this footage gets out, it will follow him for life. It will be on the Internet forever. Mm. <clears throat> right, that'd People be already speculating who who's everybody's trying to figure out on, who it is. They're gonna have to make me a believer though. Like I, the tape will have to come out for me. Well, New York Post has reported that several members of the media told them that they have been given the opportunity to purchase the video over the past few weeks, but ultimately turned it down because of legal challenges that would involve um, authenticating the footage and concerns over whether the celebrity was underage mm. at the time the video was filmed. Right. Um, and attorney Ariel Mitchell Kidd, who has been hired by several of the Combs accusers, recently told News Nation that she did see stills of the alleged sex tape, but did not view the footage in its entirety. And also said the celebrity featured in the video in question is currently more high profile than Combs. She said, I can verify the video exists, that it's real and that the other person in the video is very visible. There's no question if it's that person in the video. They're more, they're more, excuse me, they're more higher profile than, than Puff. Than right. That's what I'm saying. 
Yeah, that's what this, she's this, saying. This news is from last week. I saw that. I saw when she went on the news. Well, and said this. She's also <laughs> representing another person. Okay. Uh, she said, "Who says that Diddy spiked the lubricant that he would use?" And here's what she. Here's what the attorney Ariel Mitchell Kid said. In the suit, uh, Mr. Combs is threatening her with a knife and makes her take off her clothes, and then he takes. Uh, what she believes is some type of liquid substance and he squirts it at her some type of lubricant or oil after she was covered in this oil that's when the attack began with mr combs and then the friend but she said over the course of this her body got more and more limp that's some Ooh. powerful so, oil. So that, that hold on. So the uh, so it spiked with something. It yeah. Spiked with something. Is what the allegations are. Right. It's chemistry. Um, and it goes in the pores, and it kind of paralyzes you. I mean, maybe you. some type of numbing cream. Num- now, the numbing cream numbing does cream. exist. Yeah, it right. definitely does. Numbing. Yeah, it does exist. Because when you go and get your I laser use, hair removal, I, use, I or... use numbing cream all the time. For what? Oh, for tattoos. tattoos? Yeah. yeah. Right. So who knows? But I'm just telling you what the allegations are and what's right. being said. We are right now. Another person who's talking is attorney Tony Busby, the Houston area attorney. And he's saying that high level celebrities are being sued for helping Diddy carry out and cover up sexual assaults. And some of these celebrities are choosing to pay a lot of money to victims to avoid being named in a public lawsuit so he said uh, that's really the goal in every single case especially cases like this it's in the best interest of the victim we attempt to resolve these matters without the filing of a public lawsuit and we've done that already with a handful of individuals many of which you've heard before Okay. All right. When we come back, we have Under the Radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They're flying under the radar. People in the studio are already ordering this Diesel Fenty collaboration, <laughs> as in Dan, our producer. But here is Rihanna. Pour it up. It's way up. The news. I got news. This is the news that relates to you. These stories are flying under the radar. All right. It's way up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Mano's here. No, Mano. Yeah. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not yeah. just any brand. I'm my own, own brand. brand. There's a lot of arguing going on behind yeah. Yeah, back and forth. This morning. But let's get into some under the radar stories. Now, Donald Trump, he was supposed to do the 60 Minutes interview special with Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh um, But he decided not to do it. He canceled the sit down last week. And according to reports, he's given several different reasons. They said he backed out a week ago. First, they said because... They would fact check the interview. He didn't want it to be fact checked. Mm. And they said, we fact check every story. Uh-huh. Later, they said that Trump needed an apology for his interview in 2020. Then they said that, um, you know, he just declined also a second debate as well. So he's not doing a second debate with Kamala Harris. Right. And the Monday night special might have been the largest audience for the candidates between now and Election Day. All these questions about the economy, immigration, reproductive rights, wars in the Middle East and Europe. They knew that this special would go ahead if either candidate um, backed out. And so it's going to be without Trump now. OK, that's fine. If you don't want to participate, you don't have to. Yeah, so I'm saying I don't listen. I'm not coming with facts. Yeah. Oh, you want to fact check me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not doing that. I don't understand what's the problem with being fact checked. You know what the problem is. But you know what the problem is. He's not coming with facts. He's (laughs) coming with whatever he wants to say. Say anything. He does say anything. Anything. All right. Now the price of a mega millions ticket is gonna more than double next year. Mm. They're overhauling this whole lottery game. Starting in April of twenty twenty five, tickets are gonna go from two dollars to five dollars. Oh wow. They announced this year yesterday okay. for the Mega Millions. It's the second price adjustment since the lottery game launched in 2002. Um, they said there'll be no more break-even prizes, so if you win, they'll, you'll always win more than the cost of the tickets. So well, you, duh. But see, I, if, if we're all paying $5 now, I feel like they need to increase the overall price. Well, they said it will be, okay. and it's also going to happen a lot quicker, too, so okay. it's going to be more exciting for those reasons. So The three of us should um, play. Mm-hmm. Play what? Pause. <laughs> I thought you didn't want to play that anymore. I'm done with that, man. All right, and Hurricane Milton, we're watching everything that's happening with Hurricane Milton. It's a Category 4 storm. Um, it was downgraded from a dangerous Category 5 storm overnight, but it's still a very powerful Category 4 hurricane. Mm. And they're saying that it's going to be hitting the Florida Gulf Coast, which is still, by the way, damaged from uh, Helene's record-breaking landfall just over a week ago. So 51 counties in Florida are under a state of emergency, and millions are facing the prospect of evacuation. It's, a fo- it's supposed to make landfall Wednesday evening in the Tampa area. So our prayers out to everybody there. Um, 
They're saying this is the worst storm potentially to hit Tampa in over 100 years if it remains mm, on its terrible. current path. Damn. It's terrible. It's so late in the year. I feel a lot like. of people out in Tampa too. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that is your under the radar. Now, you know, we have the way up mix at the top of the hour. Plus, Chef JJ is joining us. We went to go eat at Field Trip yesterday. That's his restaurant. Mm-hmm. And we have the Wine and Food Festival in New York City coming up October 20th. is his cookout event. We'll talk about all of that. It's way up. Way up. <laughs> She's like to talk like they Angela Yee, like they Angela Yee. Man, she's spilling it all. This is Yee T. Way up. All right, it's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Mano's here. Yeah. Mano. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm not just Fresh from a cigarette bag. Break. <laughs> break a break. <laughs> cigarette break. <laughs> why would you be smoking a cigarette? I don't smoke yeah. cigarettes. Well, why would you come in here smell like Okay, cigarettes? go ahead, Angela. Right, it's better than what you smell like. Mm. Um, <laughs> now, crazy. let's get into some Yeetie. Deion Sanders is going to be hosting a Tubi Talk show with Roxy Diaz. Mm. It's called We Got Time Today. Okay. All right, so I saw Roxy posted it, but it's going to run for 20 episodes, each an hour in length, and it'll come out on Tuesday. So congratulations uh, to both of them. Oh, wow. It looks like Jesse Collins Entertainment is producing it. Yes, indeed. Cool. All right. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, also, shout out to Benga Akina Bay and Idris Elba. They're going to be in Catherine Bigelow's new Netflix film. It's an untitled thriller. But they're saying that it does take place at the White House as a national crisis unfolds. Mm. So that's all we know so far. Okay. All right. So congratulations on all these new things. Now, TikTok is being sued by 14 states over the alleged harm to children's mental health. Mm. That's 14 attorney generals from across the country filing lawsuits today, saying the platform has addicted young people and harmed their mental health, including things like the constant scrolling feed Mm. of content. Right. Also, challenge videos that sometimes has users engage in risky behavior and late night push notifications that they say can disrupt kids sleep. Mm. It disrupts my sleep. And I'm not a kid. That's a fact. <laughs> All right, ASAP Rocky. He is on the cover of W Magazine. Right. And guess who did the photos? Who? Rihanna was the photographer Aww. for all of this. And it's at Mercer Hotel in New York. And you know, he has his Mercer and Prince mm. uh, whiskey that we drink all the time. Yeah, we had it yesterday. So there's some details on how they met back in 2012. Stayed friends. Didn't start their relationship until seven years later. And um, most recently, he's been working on his latest album, Don't Be Dumb. Mm-hmm. This this is the Rihanna's first time as a photographer, so she's shooting him for this magazine. Okay. Uh, so you can see their cute interactions That's if nice. you read the whole article. Yeah. How, how are the images? The images look good? Yeah, and it's a lot of them. Good. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait, man. It's interesting because they have both of these things happening simultaneously. Right. Like yeah. Rihanna launched her Diesel uh, Fenty collab, and then now here's ASAP Rocky on the cover of W Magazine on the same day. So this just came out. Who's, whose album do you think is going to come out first? His, he's working on it and giving more details <laughs> than she has been. Now, he said mm-hmm. that he knew Rihanna was the right person to be the mother of his children from when he was younger. He said, we both did. It was only right when we got older. We just kind of reconnected. That happened around 2019, 2020. Okay. And then he also said, right, as far as the kids, right, an extrovert. He's just like his mom. Rizzo is more so like his dad, like me, and he's my twin. Mm. He got his mom's forehead, but he got everything else from me. <laughs> but he said, I love my boy's big forehead. Mm. And then he also referenced how he loves the mom's forehead and he talked about this on jukebox joints Ain't nothing better than the pretty big forehead but yeah, listen close I got some issues to tell you mother we up get familiar it's not just models it's gifts on my genitalia did azaleas from Australia trips to Venezuela Cinderella's under my umbrella for different weather Ella Ella ages play it like I didn't tell you that's from 2015. So he's been oh, wow. there. Azalea is from Australia. Okay. Something? Nice. I like Excuse, that. But more important, right there. more importantly, like that. <laughs> more importantly, I need to embrace my big forehead like Rihanna embraces hers. Yeah. Right? He loves a big forehead. Yeah. Yeah. I like to cover my big forehead. You up. do. I don't know why. I'm self conscious. I'm like, let Stop it fly. It. Yeah, yeah, I'm self conscious. Let, let it fly. fly. Yeah. <laughs> I try to forehead cover it up. <laughs> um, also, in this article, uh, he said he's been thinking about his dad um, when he saw his kids in Barbados. Because, you know, his dad was from Barbados, mm. but he passed away in 2012. Okay. And so he said he didn't visit his dad's hometown as a kid, but always heard about it and wanted to go. So now look at this. Oh, right? beautiful. It's a beautiful moment. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that is your Yee Tea. And when we come back, we have Ask Yee. 800 292 is a number. Call us up. Anything you want to ask us, we're here to help you out. Here's some SZA with Snooze. It's way up. 
Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should, you should know. This is Ask Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. Mano's here. That's right. And it's time for Ask Yee. And we have Alexis on the line. What's up, Alexis? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Well, <laughs> it's kind of cold over here, but it's okay. Where you at? I'm in Atlanta. It's like a little chilly. Okay. Um. So what's your question today for Ask Yee? My question is, I'm going to homecoming in two weeks, and my ex, I think he's going to show up. Do you think he's going to speak to me? And we've been in no contact for like two years. So y'all went to the same but, school? What school too? Yeah, we're, yeah, we're like college sweethearts. Okay. Oh. So you still like him? No, because I moved on. But he's oh, now great. watching my stories. But you have a girlfriend, so why uh. are you worried about that guy? Oh, what school? Can you tell us what school? Clark. Clark Atlanta. Okay. See, how do you know? Because so, he's Atlanta. Uh-huh. Do you want him to speak? No, because I think he's a coward. coward. But I feel like, I feel like, why are you watching my story? Or why are you watching my views? Or why are you trying to figure out what I'm doing? Why am I doing, going on my LinkedIn page and I see you on my profile? Just he's man up and be direct. If right, you want to say something to me, say it. Yeah, yeah, he's still in love with you. How long have y'all been broken up? 2022. Do you like him? Because it don't matter what he wants. Sound like you still want him to me. Mm, I wouldn't say that because I'm still moving on. And then if you think about it, looking back, he's still in the same position where I left him. Right, but it sound like that moved on ain't moving enough for you because the way you talking, you giving like you still into it. How was the sex? Good. (laughs) That's that's are you dating anybody, Alexis? Yeah, she moved on. on. I wouldn't say I have a man, but I am dating somebody. Oh, you're single. Okay. Here's my whole thing. Mm -hmm. You've uh, glowed up, right? Yeah. Even more. Mm -hmm. He has not. And you know what homecoming is for when you're in a good position to go and stunt on everybody. Yeah. So go out there and stunt on your ex man. <laughs> Let him see what he's missing out on and be glad you're not his girlfriend now. And don't don't block him. So he need to see the, the beautiful life. Is your new live. man gonna be there? If she's not dealing with someone. They're not in a right, relationship. But the new man, the new guy. Oh yeah, that's a good question. Is he gonna well, be there? Uh, we don't need he him here. He knows about homecoming, but he doesn't really need to go. He didn't say. He asked. He was like. You want me to go with you? No. And I was like, I mean, I'm gonna be with you my guy. You should bring him. You she, should bring him. Sorority. You don't want to be bra- bra- bringing him with uh, you. Uh, no, you got it. So stay home. You know, mm-hmm. stay I've home. been I've been in a relationship all in college. It's my first time. Um, like, yeah, go have fun. Anymore. No, go have uh-huh. a good time. And listen, don't be distracted by him. Just go have a good time with your friends. Yep. Okay, he's a mess. That's why y'all not together. Tell him he got to <laughs> motivate if he want to elevate to get with you. I know that's right. <laughs> All right, Alexis. Have, have fun at homecoming, but not too much fun. Happy homecoming. Thank you. And remember, if you do still like him, because it feels like you do, make him work for it. Mm, he got to prove a I lot. I'm a man better, though. I ain't going to lie. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, don't, okay. Yeah, no, well, no well, point in your go. We're not moving backwards. We're yeah. moving forward. All right, well, that was Ask Ye 800-292-5150. If you couldn't get through, you can still call and leave a message, and we'll get your call that way and answer your question. And when we come back, Oh my gosh, this is like a reunion. Chef JJ is going to be joining us. The cookout for the Wine and Food Festival is coming up October 20th. We'll tell you all about it. Plus, he's been expanding his restaurant field trip, and now the international baby is way up. This is Way Up with Angela Yee. Let's go. Yeah, you are a media maven, right? Ooh, you never know what Angela's going to say. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee, and my guy is here. Chef JJ is here. What's up? What's up? <laughs> it's always good to see you. Now it's always good to see you. And you've had an incredible year. I want to say I saw you opened up field trip at the Atlantis in yeah. the Bahamas. We need you to come down. I love the Atlantis. That's my first big licensee deal in the business structure. I want to tell you. So my uh, my great Atlantis story is when I used to work for M M&M, and M. Uh, one of the women that works there, it was her birthday. And so Paul Rosenberg calls me. He's like, listen, we're sending Tracy to this hotel in the Bahamas for her birthday as a birthday uh, gift. And I was like, okay, that's so nice. He was like, but we can't send her alone. So do you want to go? And I was like, absolutely. But I didn't have any money, okay. right? Because I was younger. I was broker. And so I ended up winning money in the casino there. So it's always going to have $2,400 in the slots in like uh, less than five slots. minutes. Yeah. So you were good for the rest of the trip. So the rest of the trip, I was paying. Well, I took it to Nobu. <laughs> I was paying for everything. And that, But that was such a blessing. And that's why I'm always <laughs> like, so I'm so happy that you opened at the Atlantis because I would definitely uh, be there to check it out. 
No, we would love to have you. Field Trip is there. It is, you know, very something consciously healthy, better for people that are looking for good food. Right now, I am getting ready for the New York City Wine and Food Festival and talking to Chef JJ, the curator of The Cookout. Quality control is important. Mm -hmm. And for you having started Field Trip, so is it now people can license that out and open other locations? Is people can license it out, which is very different than a franchise. Okay, very different explain than that to me. So anytime you go to like a big hotel, you know, you see restaurants there. Let's use Vegas as an example. Most restaurants in Vegas are licensee deal. The hotel sees a void. They're looking for the best in class to fill a space. I use Bobby Flay as an example because he has so many restaurants in Vegas. Right. He has a concept that they either love at the street side that they're bringing inside the hotel or they love you as a chef or a person that you develop something with them. You're licensing out your intellectual property. So you're licensing out your name, anything else that falls underneath you, your recipes, maybe your brand colors, everything mm -hmm. else. And you're giving them the right to operate it and you work out a percentage on top line sales. Okay. It is similar to a franchisee model, but when you hand over the franchisee, they're running it and you have to really trust that person. I'm not the lover of the franchisee model yet. <laughs> People call me all the time from all over the country. They want a franchise uh, field trip. It only Houston, makes sense. Yeah. Ohio, Cle you know, all these places. But you got to be really ready to let go. Because the control that you have, because imagine you go to a field trip in Houston and now Keith Lee shows up. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and then it ruins the whole name of the brand because things like that can happen, right? Correct. Somebody has a bad experience and the next thing you know, everybody's giving you bad reviews, bad reviews. You have to really be careful like who works. You, you got to be really careful. Yeah. You made me laugh about the Keith Lee thing. <laughs> but... Cause you know, I really wanted Keith to pull up when he was in when he was in New York City. <laughs> I hit him like, yo, you don't know how to pull up to field trip, but like, let me help you out. Right. Yeah, because right? I think that was one thing that people were like, who is suggesting some I had of these no places idea. for you to go to? And like, New York is the mecca, so you got to hit the high, the low, and the medium. Where would you have told him to go? I would have told him to hit some some different spots. Some of the best chefs are in New York. Yeah, absolutely. So why wouldn't you pull up to Laberna Den? <laughs> right? First of all, Eric Repair would have not known who he was. That which is what he wants. Right? He wants people who don't know who you are. They wouldn't have cared. Mm -hmm. And they would have gave him the best service. I think like also leaning into some of that as well would have been cool. All right, Chef JJ is here. We have more with him when we come back. It's way up. Look. Yeah. What's happening? You wanna know my name? Way up with Angela Yee. Turn me on. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee, and I'm talking to my guy, the founder of Field Trip, Chef JJ is here. And now we also, by the way, are doing the Wine and Food Festival. You're the one that put me onto this, so I love this too, because we've done the Miami Wine you know, and Food Miami. Festival, the New York City Wine and Food Festival, yes. the Cookout. And this is really your curated event. So let's talk about this, because I'm excited. It's in Brooklyn for the first time ever. So not only is that easier for me, but I just love the idea of having these events in Brooklyn. We're going to be highlighting so many people. But the cookout is to celebrate black excellence around food and now music. Anybody who is planning to come out, make sure you say no diet for this particular no. day. Pull up hungry. Yeah, and I think you should get the early bird ticket because that will allow you to hit everybody before all the people come in. Yeah, no, it was amazing. And like you said, it's not just um, the food. It's also the drinks. Bacardi, Bacardi is yeah. Yeah, Bacardi's presenting. And when I tell you, okay, <laughs> I got there early. Ice-T was there last year. We had a time. We did Red have a time. Red Run was there. Red but, Run was there, yeah. 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 It, was, it, was, it was a good time. I'm looking forward to this year, though. We got Freeway. Rev's going to be there. Mm -hmm. You're going to be I'm there. I'm going to be there, yes. Um, and the music's fun. The food is amazing. Correct. It's in Brooklyn. Two amazing DJs. Mm-hmm. And more people to come. Let's all come out and celebrate, okay, at the New York City Wine and Food Festival because we are going to definitely toast to you when we get out there just for you curating this event, for always paying it forward, always making sure other people are involved and being authentic and cooking some really great food. <laughs> I'm doing jerk lamb ribs. Okay, I don't eat lamb. Come on in. I what know. About, I'm, I'm, doing, what about, I'm doing some black rice. I can do that. I love black right, rice. That's black my favorite type of rice, right. black uh, cool. rice. I know you don't like salmon, right? I don't like salmon. What else don't you like? I can't, I can't. I only just don't like salmon. That's There's not many things I don't like. The other things I don't like are like innards. Because I'm like the picky seater. Why don't you like salmon? It's too fishy. It's way too fishy. And also, salmon is so farm raised right now mm -hmm. that a lot of the salmon that we're consuming isn't good for us. Because I feel like that's everyone's go to. I would prefer Arctic char or brook trout or fluke or haddock. 
Okay. All right. Well, you heard it from him first. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, again, that is going to be happening October 20th. It's in Brooklyn. Where can people get tickets for the New York City Wine and Food Festival for the cookout specifically? Go to my, go to Chef JJ on, on social media. Click the link in the bio. I'll take you right there. Or go to New York City Food and Wine Festival. Dot com. You get the tickets right there. Okay. I'll be there, guys. Can't wait for it. Thank you so much, Chef JJ. You didn't bring food this time, but we forgive you. I'm so I'm so sorry. <laughs> I thought about it. I said no. I told I told Daniel when Dan, I came you said there. no? Daniel was like, don't worry about it. They be hating on me up here. I'm not gonna lie. I was gonna bring cool. you bankside this time. Okay, we like that in I'll Brooklyn. Send some, I'll, I'll, I'll send some here next time for lunch. All right, well, thank you. Thank you for everything that you've been doing. So innovative. Congratulations on it all. You can watch that full interview on my YouTube channel, Way Up With Ye. And when we come back, you guys have the last word. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in to get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up With Angela Ye. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. Yep. Mano's here. I'm here. It felt like chaos in here today. It, 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 it was, it, we're all sober, so I don't understand yeah, what it's happened. crazy. <laughs> but again, I'm just happy that I found my wallet because I'm headed out to North Carolina today. So Jasmine, you stole my wallet. Okay. I couldn't find it. I was looking everywhere. But thank goodness you didn't steal my Spike Valentino buttery matte lip color Ooh. because that would have been war. Yeah, you did okay. This has the magnetic open and close so that I can't lose the top Mm -hmm. and it's a full studded aluminum packaging so it's beautiful it's like a piece of artwork in your purse Mm. or should I say in my purse so you can stop stealing (laughs) I like it's really I like I like the case and I'm gonna get you some it comes in some vibrant nudes and some mood boosting colors and I think the pink would look nice on you or nude or nude Mm -hmm. we know you like being nude Mm -hmm. All right. well again thank you to Chef JJ for joining us we're getting ready for the cookout at the New York City Wine and Food Festival Uh, Mayna how you feeling? I'm feeling good. Where I'm are you going? Really good. Yeah, what's, what's up with you? I'm outside. You know me. I'm right. uh, we know. I don't know how he does it. I don't either. But either. anyway, this is your show, so you have the last word. I was at work one day. My ex butt dialed me. She told me that the night before that she had got robbed and was in the hospital. The next day, I'm calling her, trying to get in touch with her. Couldn't reach her. And she butt dialed me, probably off of the missed call. She was laughing, joking. Tell them, dude, stop. Why you always want to hit on me? And this, this, and that. And whoop, 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 whoop. But, you know, I hang up, call back. She answered. I'm like, what's up? What's, what's going on? I thought you was at the hospital and this. Who is this dude I'm hearing in the background? And he hitting on you and this, this, and that. Boom, she hung up on me. I want to shine a light on my five children, especially my oldest son, Ladarius. He is a big inspiration in my life. He motivates me to keep pushing. Well, honestly, all of my kids keep me going, keep me motivated. So I want to shine a light on my five, Ladarius, Dariana, Jadavion, Jermaine, and Montasia. Going way up up, up. with Angela Yee.